morning, morning, always, always. On this life in Bama, we're in Jasper at the Oak Hill Cemetery. Cemeteries tell us much about our history. The secrets that lie here are of community, leaders, lawyers, and businessmen, of families, of toil, and of triumph. Much like the history of our nation and of Alabama, One of these stories is about this tombstone. It tells a story about Giuseppe Moretti, who was commissioned to create this headstone, carved of Alabama white marble. My name should be a well-known name in the state of Alabama. I am the artist who designed and created Birmingham statue of Vulcan. But there is so much more to know about myself and my work. Vulcan and I are very much alike because we embody the ambition and the spirit found only in America. All of my hard work at a accomplished much. The second largest statue in the world, the world largest statue made of pig iron and a ground prize win for the exhibit. But my success at the fair was not limited to Vulcan. I had wasted no time during my stay in Birmingham. I opened a studio on Birmingham North Side during that time, I first came to know about Alabama marble. By 1904, I had found the quarries in Silicaga and discovered the beauty of the marble there. Along with Vulcan, I sent a second entry to St. Louis. The beloved, the head of Christ, was my first piece carved from Alabama white marble. That piece shared the display placed in front of Vulcan and won second prize in the metallurgy building, second only to Vulcan. Vulcan represented the material resources of Alabama and the Earth of Christ represented the spiritual resources of the state. Moretti had always wanted Vulcan and Head of Christ to reside in Birmingham together but that has not happened. Moretti kept Head of Christ with him until his death. It is now in the State Archives in Montgomery. Moretti and Vulcan parted ways after the fair. Giuseppe traveled to Boston where he married his fiancee, Dorothea Long. The newlyweds traveled to Talladega County where Dorothea Moretti set up housekeeping and Giuseppe set up his quarry machines. Our home in Talladega was a wonderful place for a studio. For me to have such an abundant supply of marble to work with and a storybook home and garden to display my works was a dream come true. Monte Pino was truly our home. I designed and made many decorative details for it, even the door hinges. As you look in the distance to the northeast, you see the operations of the former Moretta Hara Marble Company in the area. Uh, the large buildings and is all part of the growth of the Moretta Hara Marble Company, which originated with Giuseppe Moretti in the early 1900s. And then the company itself still exists, just under different names. Besides the historical significance of the Dimension Stone operations and the white marble for a sculpture, this is a really uh, interesting geological area where this marble formed. For instance, you can see in this wall here some of the folds that took place as this marble was formed out of a high calcium limestone some 300 to 400 million years ago. The fold will go down and then come back up and all that folding of rock took place when the tectonic plates bumped together forming the Appalachian Mountains and it actually folded this rock at the same time provided the heat and the pressure necessary to form the marble. 
which is, a, of course, a metamorphic rock. It's the way the dimension stone operations would, would cut them from the quarry. They would saw one side or two sides. The bottom is also sawn, but the rest would be drilled with small holes. Here you can see some of the fine grain texture of the Silicaga marbles, which you can recognize Silicaga marble throughout the world wherever it's been used in building by its very fine natural grain size. Or, for instance, a, a sculpture could use a block like this and pick an area of it that he liked for its soundness, or he would look at the surface for cracks and decide where he wanted to uh, carve from. Alabama marble, when cut thin, is very flexible. Moretti felt that the use of the marble to flux steel was a waste. Over a 20-year period, Moretti invested in several quarries in the area to promote the use and export of Alabama marble as an artist's material referred to as dimension stone. He used it in most all of his marble sculptures and began exporting Alabama marble to Italy. What we have here on the work stand is the rough stone. I just started roughing out the piece yesterday. At this point, all you can see is the beginnings of the chin of the figure, the nose beginning to come out, the depression here beside the nose, and so I continue roughing out the piece. It's a slow and laborious process, but um, in, uh, in the hands of a skilled artisan, these very basic tools can really uh, create some miraculous things. Today, the soft white mineral calcium carbonate is used in paint products, rubber, caulks, sealants, paper, toothpaste, antacids, PVC pipe, caskets, frozen food dishes and diapers. When you unwrap chewing gum, the fine white stuff that keeps the gum from sticking to the paper is ground Alabama marble. Imeries is the world's leading supplier of white industrial minerals. Giuseppe Moretti is credited with founding this major industry in Silicaga. What Giuseppe Moretti created in his lifetime reflects the values of our city and our nation. Moretti's legacy is not only the many sculptures still in our country's parks and museums, but also the financial success of Alabama and development of her natural resources. Alabama owes much to the Italian immigrant who came to live the American dream in Alabama. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel and after you subscribe, click on that bell so you'll receive notifications when I upload new content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.